Try this again. Hopefully it's the last time. <laughs> Cause baby, I don't know what's going on with this phone. I don't know what's going on. Like <laughs> my sister calling me here. It was all kind of stuff going on. So we're gonna try this again. Hopefully this is the last time. Now I don't know what's going on with that lady. What's it is? I don't know what's going on with that lady, but I do kind of remember her. But that was a story a long, long time ago. I'm gonna have to go on a live. I'm gonna have to go on YouTube and look it up and see. Okay, hold on. Y'all. Popeye's nuggets only come in mild, girl. That shit is that shit fucked me up just now. I got I can't have no just mild. Girl, I don't do that, girl. I don't even know why Popeye's even sell mild. Who even eats that? I guess the little kids or something, but chill, chill. <laughs> when I was coming up, it was spicy only. I didn't even know they had mild. So anyway, I kind of do remember her, y'all. I kind of do remember her. I want to reason why I heard Popeyes was better there, and it really is. Because I've been to other Popeyes, like the Popeyes in Atlanta, and I tell you, good, no shade. <laughs> bitch. The Popeyes in motherfucking Los Angeles sing like Mexican, bitch, like Mexican fried chicken. <laughs> I'm just being real. So, anyway. You haven't got your grave on your right? So I do kind of remember that mama, but she do have mental issues. Obviously. 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 But I was trying to get some of the in my room. And girl, I don't know about her caring for children at her age. <clears throat> not too much on the eight. The Popeyes and the eight do not taste good. It is what it is. <laughs> what the hell? That's not on the eight. That's on the Popeyes. Where's Odell, baby mama? We're looking for her now. Because I don't know if that child is safe. <laughs> I'm worried. I'm fucking worried. Girl, I'm not going with her. I'm going with her well. I'm going with her well. I'm going with her well. Who going with her? Me? <laughs> Good luck with that one. I know she bad she crazy, bitch. What's up, Trey? I know she bad shit crazy. Why the hell would I go with her? Go with her well. I'm crazy too, but goddamn. Well, Bitches, good as a motherfucker. Look how you do it. Oh, girl, this hitting the right spot. This is hitting the right spot, bitch. This bitch hitting the right spot. She want me to go with her doing her DNA. No, she could do that herself, but she need me for. She could do that herself. She don't need me for no DNA. She could do that. I'm not Maury. What the fuck I look like? I ain't no damn Maury. <laughs> oh, girl, I'm not. No, she got me. This the wrong show. 
She won't do DNA, she needs more. I don't do DNA. <laughs> this is the wrong channel, babe. You need more for that. I have not heard nothing about the girl that was murdered in Mississippi, but I do check their pages often, and um, they are still posting about it, so I know they're still actively trying to get their donations and stuff up. Um, they had contacted somebody, um, and last I heard, it was waiting on something, but that's the last I heard of it. Girl, she was batshit crazy, no shade. And I love my beautiful black people. But we were back here crazy. Who are you? I don't know you. I'm trying to get in line. What's up? What's up, Arbor Lim? Why is this taking so long like this? Baby, this Popeyes is everything. What's up, Kyoka? Kiki Rogers? this is if i don't know you girl and you got a blank page please don't request to go live with me you gotta have at least a picture if i don't know you that's just on purpose on period all right so like all the time before what's up miss keys girl, i got the biscuit i got the biscuit fish <laughs> I got that's next. God knew this chicken in my life today, girl. Just that no idea. You just auto pipe through the app. I if the one time I tried to auto pipe through the app, it was not successful. There was something going on, and my shit was all fucked up, and I didn't know how to pick it up. And I was just like, "Oh, I'm over for it, girl." Popeyes is you got to go in there and just get it, girl. So listen. So that's the type of stuff my is. It's just giving me. So listen. So this is the captain, right? Why are they talking about me? Look at this girl. I don't know if y'all can see that steam rolling off that bitch. Ugh. I love it. I want a chicken dip on again on Tuesday. I thought Thursday was more like a chicken day. Who's the chicken dish? Oh, God. Well. They have five people, six, nine, nine, now. I don't need that. So listen. I was thinking about starting me a, tea, a chicken place one time and call it tea, this bitch. I swear to God. So listen. So this is the cackle. Baby. Said I'm interviewing Wahi the Rock. We're gonna talk about her books, her new book that she got out, and everything. Redhead Dream, come up here and tell us about your son, love, since you wanna talk and do that. 
You said, hold on, Ray Hendry. Hold on. We need to see who you is, man. Because you can't just come do that over here. We don't do that. What's wrong with your stuff? Come on. Let's hear about it. I don't want to block you, sister. <laughs> so I advise you to come up. Ray and Drake. Ray and Drake. Ray and Drake. Okay, thank you, sister. Now, what happened? Hello. How you doing, baby? All right, and you? I'm good. Where you from? You can I'm from Louisiana. What part? I'm kinda nervous. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Okay, my <laughs> I've never been on live before. Well you Okay, my son got Go ahead. My son got diagnosed with muscular dystrophy. He has a peg tube and a feet and tube. And the condition that he has is supposed to affect him at ten. His muscles supposed to shut down. So my only wish is to take him, you know, somewhere fun, you know, with a good experience with him and his other siblings. Um, the doctors want us to, to break his jaw, but he been through so many surgeries at birth, and I feel in my heart that if I have this surgery, he not gonna make it. Why are you still like that? Cause the the condition that the condition they diagnosed him with muscular dystrophy, it affects his whole body, his whole muscles. And the last time when we had surgery on his leg, he barely made it out. Where y'all trying to go? Like, I'm like, huh? Where y'all trying to go? I don't know. Just something, you know, not too big, not too small. You know, just for him to have a good time and experience stuff. Because right now, he's in a wheelchair. And I just want to spend, you know, all the time I can with him. Okay. And so you have a GoFundMe set up on your page? Yeah, but I don't know if I did it right. I'm new to this. I don't I don't know if I did it right. Somebody I don't got my other phone, my other phone in the call. Somebody check our page real quick while she's on here. Did you put it in your bio? No, I just have it on my uh page. You know yeah, how put, you can put pictures on your page? Right. But you got to put the link on your bio. Okay. How I do that? Okay. I'm new to Instagram, so I really don't know. So what brought you here today? Right here, right now. I always watch lives and stuff. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Right. So, um, where y'all, so how much, okay, well, how much you asking for in the GoFundMe? I don't know. I don't know, like, I was thinking about taking him to Disney, but What's going on I don't know if it be too much people, because COVID's still around, you know, so I really don't know. Do COVID affect him when it comes to like that? I don't know much about. I apologize for my ignorance, but I don't know much about the um, muscular dystrophy. I've heard about it, but I don't know much about it. He has a trait, a trait to like he can't breathe from his nose or his mouth. Okay, so they and say his you... mouth stay open. His okay, mouth so... don't close at all. So they're saying you have it on your post, but you don't have it on your bio. 
You got to put yeah. it on the shake. Shake it. So just a moment to the queen next door. I heard that you was trying to give. You want to, you want to, you raising money to bring your child somewhere, right? Uh huh. Is it possible I could gift you and your child a trip to Disney or me and my family? Yeah. How old is your child? He's 10. He's 10. So what I need you to do is, my name is Tashai. So what I need you to do is go to my inbox and send me your number. And what I'll do is I will pick up a, um, a resort package for you and your son. And I will send y'all to Disney on me and my husband for your charge. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Queen. I mean, if, that, if that's the least that I could do, I mean... From parent to parent, I, I wouldn't understand losing my kids. So, like I said, you got to do it quick so I could book y'all a trip. You tell me what days you want to take him. I could get you a nice little deal. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that we pay for it so y'all could go ahead and y'all could go. Or if you would like, you could go with us when we go in August. Either way, we don't have a problem. Okay. We go every mm -hmm. August. Well, my fam well, I take my niece every August right before school. And this year I'm taking my son. We just came back from Florida, Orlando, Florida, this weekend. I just made it back today, back to New Orleans. So what I'm gonna do is I'm telling you, if you do as I ask you, Queen, send me your number. I promise I'm gonna give you and your son a trip to Florida. And okay, that way you don't even have to worry about your GoFundMe. You could just take your GoFundMe money and go have go have fun, girl. That's what okay. you can do. Take your go for me money and go have fun. Just make sure you contact me, please. Okay. I want to do that for you. That is a humongous blessing, Shy. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice of you to do that. Aww, thank you. Shaky, no, I don't have no power with blessing nobody. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm trying to... Uh, Shy, real it's I-A-M-T-S-C-H-Y-A. That's you? Yep. That's me. I'm Tashai, sweetheart. That's my name. And okay. just send me your number. And what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to text you my number. I have a 702 number. So if you see that pop up on your phone, that's me. I'm We're going to go through and find a nice deal, a nice package for how many days you and your baby want to stay out there. And I'm going to take care of it. Okay. I really, really All appreciate right, that. Thank you. You're so more much. than welcome, sweetheart. You are more than welcome. That's all I wanted to get up here and say. Y'all have a good one. Friend, I'm going to call you a little later. All right, girl. <laughs> Hold on. Let me see. Let me hurry up. And get you. Hold right, on. Baby. I'ma just I'm 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 gonna send you a message. How about that? Okay, thank you. Cause it's not let me hit it. I'll send you a message. Okay. All right, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Period. Now that's how that works. That, that's how God works. See, y'all was coming on here to get the mess or whatever, whatever, or uh, to troll me or whatever it is that you come through. The people in the background, y'all saw a blessing. Y'all saw a real live blessing. That's a real, a shout out to Shy. If y'all don't follow Shy, y'all missing out. Y'all, y'all is a disappointment because baby, Shy is that girl. I said what I said. Very much so entertaining. Very much so, very much so talented. Very much so blessed and very much, hey, how you doing? Period. Make sure y'all follow Shy. I hope this lady get what she was looking for. And I'm um I'll check back up on it and see. Yes. Thank you. No problem, Ray Hedre. Yes, no shy real. Shy always been a real one. Always been a real one, baby. I just hope she's not trying to scam. I don't think she's trying to scam, but I know how shy is. Shy wouldn't care either way. If she's trying to scam, that's that. But let me say something. When you listen, listen, this is this how I always look at that. When I came into doing the social media stuff, I looked at it like this. You heard me. I get hit up all the time. Shake, I need this. I need that. Y'all have no idea. It's really a lot because it's what I got. I got all this money, but I don't really broke. <laughs> it's what I got. I got all this money. And so, and so what they do is they'll hit me up. Nah. I, I just go by pure instinct and feeling. If God put on my spirit to, to, to do something, I do it. If God don't, I don't. And that's just what it is. And if they lie, that's on them. I'ma still give my blessing for that. If they lie, they got the they got the they got to pay for that consequence. Don't think that that's just one sided like that. 
if you lying trying to get something from somebody, You know what I'm saying? If you if your heart don't impress on you, don't do it. That's all I can tell you. Don't help them. If my heart impressed on me to help them, I help. If I can. But if it don't, I don't. And that's just that simple. It ain't nothing else behind it. If they lie, that's on them. If they lie, that's on them. They're going to pay for that because at the end of the day, my blessing's still going to come because my intentions was pure. You feel me? Nah. They said, that's why she offered to pay for the actual trip instead of the GoFundMe money. Shy and crazy, okay? <laughs> no shy and crazy. By a long shot. Oh, girl, it's so hot, girl. It don't make no sense. I'm over it, girl. Oh, Jesus. For nothing. Girl, and they talk about global warming ain't real. Them Republicans is idiots, girl. They must have, you should make them make that love from the from Louisiana, bitch. Y'all should have to come down here and make them motherfucking laws. Then I just struck down, they struck down so with a EPA can't stop them, stop these companies from pumping that fucking shit in the motherfucking um, atmosphere. Hey, whenever you get up live inbox me, please. No, I'm a, I'm a, I, I believe, sister, I'm just saying. We ain't, we not here to, I'm not here to judge nobody. Come on. Because this game was the church. She wanted money and I know this. Hey, I'm not here to judge. Like, if that's what she wanted, look, she, look, let me tell you something. She said she wanted to take her baby for the trip. She didn't know where her trip was. But, Shy said, so well, you don't know where it's at. I got some Disney vouchers. Just what's up? Or Disney, I'm going to pay for a Disney. Let's go. You want to go to Disney? Nah. You, ain't no child don't like no damn Disney world. Them children love them from fucking Disney. I wouldn't care what your child, I don't care. Adults love Disney, girl. So, um, <laughs> it is what, if you don't like no Disney, you have something wrong with you. I know you're lying. No. You don't want to trip to Disney World? What child don't like no motherfucking Disney, girl? I'm sure I love them some Disney. Fuck, I love me some Disney, girl. <laughs> My kids, I love Disney. Come on, sister, it's all you. The fuck you been alone? Oh, come on. Come on, it's your time, baby. Your... <laughs> if you talking about your, oh, my child, I'm going to go to Disney World, girl, you a lie. As much as they have, like, Lion King and all that other dumb ass shit they be watching, girl, they want that Disney World. She said her kids were loved. I just did my parents and sister to the shaky ex for us to go check the page out. I did ask to go check the page out to see if she had posted it right. That's all. To see you when you do a GoFundMe, you get a link. Right? And on that link you can put it in your bio so that I don't have to go and look and search for your particular GoFundMe. I just hit the link. And then I'm right then and I'm right there. That's what I was asking about. I wasn't asking her to go and find out if she really, I was going to say if it's, she said it was on her page. So I'm like, is it in a link in your bio? Because that, that link in the bio, that's something you could just easily send somebody to where you want them to go. Like I could I'll honestly say a lot of times, like my book sales. Speaking of, we'll talk about that in a minute. But speaking of like, even with my book sales, like, I could track with my link in my bio because the sales is up. 
people hit that link and go buy the book. But I didn't, <laughs> I didn't necessarily sit quite investigate. Uh, but it's not in her bio, we know that. But uh, I was just saying, go investigate and look and all that. It, ain't, it wasn't that serious. You know, I mean, if you want to help, help. If you don't want to help, don't help. If you feel like God pressed on you, God pressed on uh, shy to help. So in her way that she wanted to help, and that's what she, she did. Someone please tell her how to do it. You know, older people don't be knowing about the electronics. And that's true, because I be learning. Girl, this feels like I learned. I didn't even know you could pin Instagram. Like, if it's a post that you want to put up there, you could pin it. I didn't even know you could pin posts on Instagram. That's something new they told me today. I'm like, for real? I didn't even know. My page is private, so y'all can't see it. Why would you make your page private if you asking people to help you go for me on your page? You got to unprivate your page, baby. <laughs> Come on now. now. Now that's one that's well how they say it. It's shit I love about you. Oh, I love you watching me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Alright, so listen. Saturday I got this interview with Wahida Clark. It's gonna be at 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. She gotta um, do her page. Uh one of my girls, I don't know if Queen still up in here, but one of my girls, uh send me her page. I'm gonna check it out after I get off a line. All right, so that's number one. Number two, y'all like prison stories? I wrote a book. I call it, it's not private. Okay. There are also plenty of charities for his disease that she can look um, She got to know her research. Listen, listen, a lot of times, let me tell you something. I mean, look, 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 put it like this too. Check this out. I love y'all. You know I love y'all, right? So listen, do me this here. If y'all, a lot of times knowledge is, is, is more valuable than stuff. If you know of a charity or a resource that can help her, then send that to her. Don't, you don't have to just send money. If you know of something that helps for that, a lot of times, remember, hold up, what is it? I don't know what app we was on. It wasn't this app. It might have been somebody else. Remember that time we had the woman who was the, D, the DV uh, victim? And we called around and we found different things for her. Sometimes we could do that. That's just as good as, 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 as just get, a lot of people don't know how to find information. A lot of times information is hard to find. A lot of times you've been through something and you know the key. Y'all can't hear me? Y'all can hear me? Well, how they hear me in answering, but you can't. Yeah, sometimes you could, sometimes, the, the help, most helpful part is just the sharing information. So if you have information on a charity, or you have information on an organization, or you have a, a nonprofit, or something that is for that particular thing, like I told her before, I apologize to my ignorance. I don't even really know what that is. I don't even really know what muscular dystrophy is. I think because I'm connected to the car <laughs> instead of connected to my AirPods, which I can, can I fix that? This phone, my other phone was acting stupid. Okay. So, uh. Because it, it, the car super secret everything. When it connects to the car, that bitch connects. I'm trying to see how I can do this. Um, I, I don't know if this motherfucker car, this motherfucker car. Swear to God, it's a fucking spaceship, bitch. This motherfucker. Swear to God, it's a spaceship, bitch. And I can't tell my Bluetooth off. Okay. It's fine now. All right, I ain't gonna fuck with it. If y'all can hear me now, that's good. But yeah, sometimes that just that information, just the information pieces are way more important than the parts. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Fuck. 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 I do not feel like going back that way. <laughs> damn. I forgot to get something for my mom. Should get, I get some hard like that. <laughs> What's up? I've been here. Girl, I have to get some fucking, I got to get some fucking, the big envelopes, girl. I, I get that from one motherfucker. She wanted an office or something. There's the envelope she wanted or something. All right, so listen, <laughs> my page, <y> up. <laughs> but uh, I forgot. 
the one thing of I had one thing to do. I had one job, one job. <laughs> so um, I hate Instagram. I never see your posts unless I come directly to your page. Shake. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Thank you, Ray. Okay, gotcha, Liz. All right. So, yeah, but sometimes the information is way more important than just you might think, oh, I'm going to send $10. But you might have a $10 million piece of information for somebody. So you always got to look at it like that. If you know something and you know a charity or you know something like that, or if you just want to look it up for because like, okay, let me say something. Somebody going through something, especially with a child, they don't want to look up nothing. They don't want to find nothing. They don't want to, I don't want to Google this and do that. Now, some people is like mentally able to handle that. But some people, when that shit happens, they lose all sense of and all track of what's, what's going on with themselves. It don't be about them no more. It be about the child. And so that's all they can think about. I don't want to put together no this and read this and all this stuff like that. I don't want to do none of that. I want to concentrate on the child. And so with that being said, you have to, you have to be, like, sometimes you might want to step in. God might impress on your heart. Listen, just Google this for her. And screenshot it. It's nothing. If she get it, she get it. She don't, she don't. And it costs you two seconds. It's free. You could do that. You could look it up. Or if you know something specific, or you have been through it, or you know somebody who has been through it, and you know of a specific resource, a specific plug, a specific, you know what I'm saying, charity, a specific nonprofit, any of those things, here, here baby, listen up. A lot of times they help. She said, I need therapy too, and I'm really going through it. And I can imagine that. When you're dealing with something for the child, you don't know what's going on. I don't, don't want to hear none of that. It's my child. I don't want, I don't want to talk about I don't want to look cool. Well, God, what? And so, man, that's when they say, y'all, black people, it take a community for real. It really do, y'all. It really do. It take a community. It's so, let me tell you something. We was talk. Back in the gap, when we was Africans, like real Africans, you know, it would be a tribal thing. It wasn't this family versus this family versus this family and this family, and we was relying on family. Your whole tribe was your family. Whether this, whether they was blood related to you or not, it was, it was all in that tribe. You feel what I'm saying? It was all a tribal thing. Everybody had a common goal. The whole tribe. If something wrong with one, it's one for all, all for one. We got to get back to that. We got to understand something. When we come to, like, we, we got away from that. Everything with, everything with us is so deep, disunified. And we always try to tear each other and break each other down for something. And then the people that is making it out, it's like, they don't. So it's a, first of all, it's a crab, crab in a bucket mentality. We got to get that shit out of our mindset for real. And I'm not preaching to nobody. I ain't trying to be all like that. I'm just saying for real. That crab in a bucket mentality, that got to go. That shit is crazy. But also, too, this is the next thing got to go about the crap in the bucket mentality, the reach back mentality. See, they don't even have that. It, what, see, this is how it's supposed to be. If you get on, you got to reach back and go get somebody else. That should be a thing. That should be the, that should be the, that's the, to me, that should be the set. Okay, Oprah, you got on. Who you put on? Okay, we could say maybe Gail. Well, Gail, who you put on? You, it should be a chain reaction. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you got on who you put on. Not just who, just, oh, it's you got on, we glad for you, we happy for you. Yeah, we celebrate you, we want to celebrate your greatness. But the true measure of success is who you put on. How many people you done give an opportunity to that didn't have an opportunity? That should be the true measure of success. Not, oh, how much you can make.
Hold on. You can hear me now? Hold on, I want y'all to look because I'm talking some good shit. Let me see. Period. Now y'all can hear me. All right. So listen, baby, we live in a time, we live in an age where we don't believe that it's important to be unified. We don't believe. And, and guess what? I'm part of the problem. I ain't part of the solution. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm part of the problem. At least I was part of the problem. I think I'm part of the solution now. But we're in a time where, where we, baby, unif unification is at an all time, is at a premium. We have to. We must. That's the only thing these people thinking. There's people in the world that's thinking that we as we as people, black people especially, is trying to outnumber them so much that they feel like. Listen, we just had a we just had a situation where a 25 year old black man, right? Look at this. Just just look at this. There's a 22 year old white man that went in and shot and killed six people and injured 30. And he was alive to go through trial. This is fun fact. He shot six people dead, injured 30. They knowingly know he was up and dangerous. And he's living to tell why, what, and they got, he went, the man who went and shot up the 10 victims in Buffalo at the grocery store. He's lied to tell about. But then you have this 25-year-old black man who did not kill nobody. Did not hurt nobody. This man was being pulled over for a traffic stop. Never been in trouble with the law day in his life. A traffic stop. Listen to this. And this black man, right, who got pulled over for this traffic stop, got 90 rounds in his body to the point he was dead. Check this out. This will fuck me up even more about this. The police handcuffed him after shooting him over 90 times. What on earth were you afraid of? What's, how could he resist you in heaven? Now listen, so you have on one hand people of a certain type of race that go out and kill other people and they get fucked. Why'd you do it, Billy? But us, who do a simple traffic stop, you better not, look, and so this is the funny part about it. They kept telling them, stop, stop, turn around, stop, stop, turn around. And so when they turn around, they're alleging, they released the body cam footage. I saw it. It was graphic. I just, it sickened me to my stomach when I looked at it. And, 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 and you're telling him, stop, stop, turn around. And when he turned around, y'all swear to God, y'all saw a gun and say, oh, this is oh, shit. But these other people have guns. You thought, and he was unarmed. How is that possible? So this is the world. And listen, when you have so-called good house niggas like Judge Paris Thomas that are because these good house niggas and just good old boys that just have these ideas that, hey, you know, <laughs> I am one of them these okay as Negroes, this is the world that we're handing to our children. Why he ran? Why would you not run if you know that you listen? <laughs> what options do we have? In the past 10 years, habitually, is black man after black man after black woman after black man that's getting killed by police. Black people who are terrified of police. I was one too. 
the world we leave in our children is a fear of police. Not of, of police. See, the police, we grew up in a time when police was, well, we, it wasn't police, but I was when police was a good guy, oh, good guy, they ain't got good guy. No, Carl Winslow and them, no, that's not the police that these people are growing up with. What's going on, China? What's going on? All right, so we got China Red in the building. All right, infamous. You heard me. Girl, China Red just been cut up, girl. <laughs> you got, in, over the past 10 years, all you see on TV is cop kill black man, traffic stop, unknown. Cop kill black man, stand up, th toy gun, unarmed. Cop kill black man, foot to the neck. Cop kill black man, walking home. This is what you hear. So, what, what does this teach our children but to be afraid of these people? They don't know what he does. If you stay, it's, it's, it's like telling them, if you stay, we're going to get you. If you go, we're going to get you. What else? Why would he run? What is your motion? <laughs> it's like it's the only chance. It's like the only chance he ain't. Man, this is the world we are crafting for our children. And you don't think it takes a community? You don't think it takes a few of the ones that made it out to reach back instead of trying to close the lid? It's a crab in the bucket mentality we all trying to get out. It's a crab in the bucket because we all trying to get out. I was looking at um um god damn it. But it was somebody in that com in that particular community that's one of like the community leaders or community activists. And um they were talking about it and saying what was like what was transpiring. It. I think they alluded to what you just said, Char uh, Charlotte, that um uh, about the, the mental issues with the girlfriend and all that stuff like that. And so um while I was looking at it, it was on the tube, right? It was on YouTube. And so um it was like I could like a live stream or whatever, and they were just talking about it. And in the live stream, it was like the people wasn't even focused on the task at hand. The people was in the live stream like, oh, he shouldn't have ran, you know better than one. And then when the man was talking, they would start attacking him, like, how are you justifying this? I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. Do we not know? Do we not say? Do we not have any type of <laughs> like? I want to come up there and talk about. It. He definitely didn't have a chance when that many officers with guns. This is what I'm. This is this is also what bewilders me a lot of times, right? You have <laughs> this. It's just it's just bewildering to me. But let me let me let me ask y'all something. That if this makes sense to y'all, it's just if all this all this. Because I feel like they're putting in our face, but I could be wrong. Okay, when they stormed the Capitol, they had six officers on duty. They called another 10. They became 16 officers, right? So when a, when a, a two, 300 armed white people stormed the Capitol, the symbol of democracy in our republic, in America, they got 16 officers for 200 white folks. But let one black man have an issue, it's a hundred officers on the deck immediately. And, or is that just me? <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out. Or oh, if that's them playing my face, or oh, was that just me? I don't know. I'm asking. If you have 150, 200 some white people come and break down the symbol of democracy, what's up? Hello? You knew you was coming up or you did it by accident? Oh, wow. Let me trip out of it. You're doing too much. All right. Now, I just believe that was playing. They were ordered to not do anything, just my opinion. Okay. But it just said, like, okay, you couldn't find a good, you could, like, if a black, one black man do something, we find every officer in the world that we need right now. But if you have hundreds of white people do something, it's like you can't find nobody.
this is something. So, and understand the world that you're handing your children. It takes a community. We can't all the time. Let me see something. I'm going to be real with y'all right now. I hate Democrats right now. I hate Democrats right now. I hate Democrats right now. I hate all the Democrats right now. You know what? You know why I hate Democrats right now? I hate Democrats right now. I hate Democrats right now because they told us when we was campaigning from in November and all the other stuff, they told us, get us a Georgia, get us this, get us that, and we're going to do something. Y'all have done nothing. Joe Biden is so inept, it's sick of you. Chuck Schumer is such, is so pussy, it's sick of you. Nancy Pelosi is so fucking inept, it's sick of you. I hate the Democrats right now. They took the black vote for granted. They have been taking the black vote for granted for 20, 20 30 years going on, probably more than that as long as I can remember, and they are so inept, they are so scared, they are so pussyfooting, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. They have yet to make it fucking work. And we done did our fucking part when it comes to voting for them bitches, and they have done nothing. I don't agree with the Republican ideology but I respect them Republicans because they do what the fuck they think they're going to do and don't give a fuck what you think about it. The Republicans do what they say they're going to do. And they don't give a fuck what you They the guy have the power. They could not have the power. If they have the power, they make it. They make you fucking feel it. If they don't have the power, they make you feel it because they're not gonna let you do nothing. They're not gonna let you do nothing. They are gonna stick the motherfucking together, and they are gonna make the fucking shit happen. It's that twenty five percent that's gonna do what the fuck. I, you know, I didn't agree with nothing Donald Trump had, but when that motherfucker did some shit, them motherfuckers stuck by him. They stuck by their leader. And guess what? They made shit happen what they wanted to happen. So much so that they make a shit happen now. They told Obama, fuck you, you ain't nominated nobody. Get the fuck out your stupid bitch. And he ain't nominated nobody. And when Trump come in, he nominated two bitches like, ha ha. This was one the whole time. And now they supposedly allegedly not in power, but they stopping the Democrats from doing anything. Democrats, y'all got to change the fucking rules. Why y'all got the power? Democrats, they for the hell of hell of a time come November, bitch. They about to have a hell of a time come November. They not gonna be, girl, they not gonna be in no power. Girl, them Republicans about to take that shit so fucking fast. And they're just supposed to. And the Republicans supposed to do that. You're supposed to kick the Democrats in the ass. You're supposed to kick them all in the asshole because they don't know what the fuck they motherfucking doing. They had the driver's seat and they do a bitch ass thing. At least in Obama first two years, they got something done. You got Obamacare, you got a few things, bias in there. Motherfucker, these motherfuckers, they, Uncle Joe, take you a nap. I hope you don't run again. I hope you don't, just don't do it, Joe. Do not do it. You was just a lesser of two evils. Go take, get, listen, Uncle Joe, you ain't, you, I don't got a problem with you. Personally, I don't. You, all right, you know, you know nominated Katanja Brown, you know, made commonly, you know, nominated a lot of black folks. First black secretary of state, uh, secretary of defense, excuse me. You don't do a lot of stuff. I'm not gonna lie. You put a lot of black people in a lot of high positions. I know that's why they don't like you. But let me say why I don't like you, Uncle Joe, because you don't do a bitch ass thing. Uncle Joe, get you some graham crackers, go sit in front of the TV, and watch Drew Carey on the prices motherfucking right. Don't run again. Please don't, because you're gonna lose. You're gonna, they, gonna, they do not like you, sir. Go get you some cram crackers. Put you on the prices right. Get you them slippers. Because everything else you try to do, Uncle Joe, you fucking up. Shaking hands with the air, bitch. Falling off the bicycle, bitch. Going out the wrong door. He's walking in his door. Come on, go out that door. Uncle Joe, go. You, you did good, bro. 
We fuck with you. <laughs> we, it just wasn't for you, baby. <laughs> it's all for sure. Uncle Joe, you got to go. <laughs> and this is from somebody who agree with everything the Democrats stand for, but they can't implement shit. So fuck, the Republicans will do the fuck they want anyway. I might as well be a Republican. I saw Cedric Richmond at um, Essence, and a lot of black people is, is, is quitting his administration, bitch. You're not lying. A lot of black people is quitting his administration. Black people, I'm sorry, the Democrats take us for granted, and they don't do a bitch ass thing they say they're going to do for us when they try to do it. If they really cared about us, this is what the, this is what, this is what don't, this is what fucked me up about the Democrats. You don't even care about your job. You don't even care about your job. The Democrats don't even care about their job. Because see, this is what fucks me up about them. The vote rights legislation, why would you want to make it harder for people to vote? When the people that it hurt the most are people that's voting for you. If I was a Democratic leader at that time, and they said, okay, we got the voter right let's say it came from the fact, let's I took that motherfucking filibuster and stuck it in the, the and stuck it in Mitch McConnell pussy. You wouldn't have had that. Because the people that you're taking the votes from is people that vote for us. So what you scared of this filibuster for? Fuck that filibuster. It's been on the, I was because guess what? If the shoe was on the other foot, and if because Mitch McConnell did this Chuck joke, Chuck Schumer before. When, the, when, when what's his name passed away and Obama was about to nominate Merrick Garland and it was a year before he was going to lead the presidency, bitch, Mitch McConnell told Obama, you better stick that nomination in your pussy because it's not coming through this minute. I'm going to show you. You're going to stick that one in your trunk. The next president going to nominate the next one, not you. Bitch, Chuck Schumer, if I was the, the, the Democratic leader, I would told me some kind of room you told me thinking about pussy. Well, bitch, it's your turn. Been on. Mitch McConnell is the most gangster motherfucker I've ever seen in my motherfucking life. He will play in your face. He will piss on you and say, bitch, it's raining. If you don't like it, fuck you. I don't know who this nigga is, but he is gangster to the core. Because they don't play with this bitch. I don't want to be a Republican since I Bitch, I like that shit, bitch. I like that. I like when you just speak to women. I can respect that. Let me see something. I respect a bitch. I swear to God. I respect a bitch that look me in my face and tell me, bitch, I just don't like you. I can respect that to the core. I respect that. What I can stand is a motherfucker that will tell me they fuck with me and then behind my back say this. So this is what the Republicans and the Democrats different is. The Democrats don't fuck with us. They don't. They don't like us. Because if they did, they'd have passed voting rights legislation. They'd have passed the motherfucking shit for the weed. They'd have passed the motherfucking shit for the student loans. They'd have passed, they'd have protected abortion rights and women's rights. They'd have, they'd have pro-choice. They'd have protected all that. If they give a fuck about us. That's issues we care about as black people. You know, equal rights and shit like that. We care about shit like that. So if they cared about us, they would care about the issues that affect us, right? So the, 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 the Democrats don't care about us. They just lie to us and tell us that they do. The Republicans don't fuck with us, but they let us know we don't really fuck with y'all like that. Wait, I can respect that. I can respect a motherfucker that just be like, bitch, I just don't fuck with you. I can respect, don't, don't lie to me. Don't piss on me and tell me I'm great. <laughs> I can respect them. And that's why I can't stand the fucking Democrats. I'm a Republican. I'd rather be around motherfuckers that I know can't fucking stand me than to be around these lying motherfuckers that don't and tell me that they do. I really do. You get a new, I am a Republican as of today. I'm a Republican. What? I'd rather be around the motherfuckers that I know don't give a fuck about me. At least they're being real. At least they're being real. At least with them, the gas prices low. I mean, I can't, you can, they gonna do what they want anyway. I might as well look, vote for a Republican and get some cheap gas, bitch. Okay? Gas $4 together, Uncle Joe's gonna take a nap. 
Because she don't pay for gas. I'd rather have a motherfucker that enlist. They don't like me, but the motherfuckers, they about to, they don't like me, but this bitch is about to motherfucking make a mess for me. I know they about to do that. I can take, I'll take that. Rather than have these motherfucking Democrats lie and tell these false promises, and as soon as they get a chance to, to make a motherfucking difference, they motherfucking don't. Democrats is the most motherfucking pussy whip, pussy ass, whack ass motherfucking party on the face of this motherfucking planet, and I'm sick of them Democratic bitches. The oh, fuck these bitches is crazy, girl. At least the Republicans will give us some low gas, cheap gas, take a couple taxes out by taking less taxes ahead now. Cause they be doing shit to help themselves, but it'll trickle down to us eventually, girl. Some kind of way. They mentality fucked up, but girl, fuck, it's better than the other alternative. Sleepy joke. I don't have nothing negative to say about my sister Kamala. She can't do much. She's just the vice president. That's all she can do. She can only she don't she don't pass no laws or nothing. She don't do nothing. The Democrats is fucking up, but I would never support Republicans. So this is my argument for that. Supporting Democrats and supporting Republicans because they don't do a bitch ass thing. That's what it is. I'd rather be in a room with a bitch, a bunch of bitches that I know don't like me than be in a room with a bitches that say they do and really don't. Kamala, what do you want Kamala to do? She's only the vice president. She she cannot she cannot do nothing. The only time Kamala can even vote for something is when they have a tie on the vote. That's the only time she can even vote. She don't do nothing. She's the vice president. She gotta go where Joe Biden really sent her, to be honest with you. When Joe Biden was Obama vice president, he, he, uh, Joe, Joe had to go do it. Obama said, go do this. Obama was the Senate, bitch, go punch, go get them votes off the Senate. Don't you know them motherfuckers? That's, and you ain't, as a vice president, you're really just a dupe on. What's going on, Shea Queen? All right, Trevor, what's going on? What's Tina? What's how you doing? Trevor looking good, been getting her little, um, pro, her little game up and stuff. Y'all how that Trevor, if you need some promo or anything, she got you. Got her promo game going on. She got her stuff going. I see you. Already, the state is giving the residents a check of one thousand dollars and some change for gas. I forgot what state though. How could you forget that? That's the state we need the most, so girl. <laughs> girl, how could you forget that? <laughs> we need to go to that state. <laughs> Don't ever forget no information like that. We need that information, girl. That's golden information. I know. I just about you. She was more vocal. She can't, okay, as a vice president, listen, the vice president does not even technically have real power for real. Okay, the vice president really acts as the president of the city. So that means that they just preside over the city, but they don't even have to be in, well, that's one of the, even if the city not session, they don't vote unless it's a tie. Now, as far as the, like legislative do. Now, when it comes to um, the vice president real role, it's only because the United States has to have uh, a continual working government. All that means is that we, the, the, the leaders still have to be like this perpetual. So that means that her main pro her main thing that she needs to, that she's supposed to do is be there in case the president cannot fulfill his oath of office. That's pretty much her main duty. Now, as far as like talking about stuff and stuff like that, she really kind of limited to that because she cannot really go against her president's, like, his agenda or some shit. So it has to come from the president or any vice president. So you don't really see much. There's no vice president that's really out there just doing stuff, to be honest with you. So it's like you're not really, like, you're not really having no, as you are the vice president, you really don't have no say-so on it. Like you ain't making no policy or nothing like that for real. Like now, if you like, if the president asks you to come be part of like, like a committee or something like, like, like if when I really have, that's what the secretaries of all those departments do. You don't really do that. Like you have somebody for defense. You have your national security. You not even part of that. They don't even like them to be in the same room at the same time. A lot of times, you're not out there doing nothing as far as just 
like making policy and stuff. So don't think that a, a vice president could just do that. A vice president have very, very, very limited authority when it comes to that type of stuff. And if 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 at all, if at all any, to be real with you, they just there really, you know. To be honest with you, they just there. They there in case something happens to the president. That's their main goal. They're not there to do something for somebody. She has a voice, and she's still the vice president, and she still counsels with the president. Don't get it twisted. And I'm sure he listens to her. When he, but at the end of the day, the, it's, when, you know what they say about the president? The buck stop here. It's on the president. The vice president really just got to go, you know, got to do her job. She understand her job. She's not crazy. She's doing what she's supposed to do. I think she kind of staying away. Like, you know what I'm saying? In a sense, you want it that way. Because Biden in, in lying line for you. I, my, I really want to see this. I want to see. I want to see this. I want to see Michelle Obama as president. That's what I want to see for real. My lips to his ears, I want to see Michelle Obama as president. I want to see that. That's what I want to see. But I would take any black woman as president right now. I'd take Latoya Cantrell as president right now. I want to see a black woman as president. We've seen a black woman as vice president. We've seen the black woman as Supreme Court and Senate and all this stuff like that. Maxine Waters. We got a lot of black women leaders. I want to see a black woman as president. Now, Kamala has went the furthest further than any black woman. Now, now, so be it. Well, her associated Biden is an unpopular president. His approval rating is way down there. Gave her these gas prices high, and we not feeling it, girl. I would, I would see a woman president, but I want to see a black woman president. I want to see that. I want to see a black woman president. God would be all right with me if it's Michelle Obama, because I love me some Michelle. I love me. Now, I don't know about you, girl. I love, that's, you know, some people just can't do no wrong. I wouldn't give a fuck what they say about Michelle, baby. I'm going to support her like a white man support Trump, bitch. I wouldn't give a fuck what he do. What she do? She could do anything. I wouldn't give a fuck. She still got... I wouldn't give a fuck what they say. I wouldn't give a fuck what they say about Michelle. They could come out tomorrow and she on crack, bitch. I'm going to... Baby, we're going to... Bitch, I'm going to be like, where my line at? <laughs> where is my line at? I got the smoke to do with it. They can come out anything. They can come out. They, I wouldn't give a fuck. They can come out that she really a space alien, bitch. I'm going to say, let's get on the motherfucking ship. Okay, I wouldn't give a fuck what they say about Michelle. I fuck for Michelle. I wouldn't give a fuck. I love me some Michelle. So I be hoping she won. But she said she don't want to do it. And I don't blame her. I don't blame her. I don't blame her at all. But I wouldn't give a fuck what, they, what she do. Or what they say about her, bitch. I wouldn't give a fuck. That's my Michelle, and I, I, I wish you do one. But anyway, but but if if Kamala run, I don't want to be the child with that Biden approval. <laughs> Fuck. She ain't gonna if she from if she if she relied on that uh, Joseph Biden approval, she gonna have a long road ahead. You can't say shit about Obama to me either. I like brother Obama and sister Obama. I like both of them. <laughs> you can't say shit to me. Don't tell, don't talk to me about no motherfucking Obama. We supposed to have a gas standard coming through. Girl, Biden gonna be asleep. He's gonna be on the side. He's gonna be looking, he gonna be taking a nap on the corner. Something like but Joe Biden take more motherfucking naps than Garfield the cat, bitch. I'm so sick of Joe, bitch. I am sick of Joe today, bitch. Oh girl. I'm sick of her today. <laughs> I'm sick of her today, girl. Joe gonna be the time. They gonna, bitch, they gonna be looking for Joe, bitch. They gonna say, bitch, you're young. Bitch, the young and the rest is old, bitch. I just fucking Joe. Joe look like a male cat like Catherine Chancellor, bitch. Girl, I'm so sick of Joe, girl. I am sick of her, girl. I'm sick of her, girl. I'm over her, girl. It was cute at first, but girl. <laughs> Over her girl. I'm over her girl. Over her girl. Y'all go ahead and Joe shit. Y'all waiting on Joe to get y'all stimmy girl. Who gonna wake him up, bitch? <laughs> so tell him come sign him, bitch. Yeah, we like that old Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton was all right with us. We was with Clinton. Black people was all right with Clinton. Clinton ain't really did. No, Clinton, Clinton, you know what, bitch? Because that was mad with him getting his dick stuff. We didn't give a fuck about that shit, girl. We saw you. 
That's why I'm surprised we didn't fuck with Hillary like that. Because, girl, we done all been there, girl. You nigga fucking with another bitch, girl. You still some pussy, nigga? Girl, we done all been there. Girl, we go wake him up, girl. He got to come sign the bill of the law, bitch. He got to come sign it, bitch. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna get the city and the bitch. He ain't gonna, he ain't sign no, he ain't sit, bitch. <laughs> oh, oh, girl, please, Michelle, please run to the what do I have to do to get you to run, girl? But listen, y'all talking about some motherfucking Joe Biden gonna send you a signal for some fucking gas, bitch. Oh, girl, Joe Biden, I'm gonna tell you what Joe Biden is gonna be doing when it's time to sign it into legislation, bitch. Joe Biden is gonna be sitting in a in a lazy bar recliner, bitch, in a swingy, watching it in the heat of a motherfucking night. That what the fuck Joe Biden gonna be doing when it's time to sign the fucking Senate, bitch. Okay? He's gonna be watching in the heat of the motherfucking night, bitch. And that he? That's what the fuck he gonna be doing. What the fuck is Joe? Hold on, hold on. He gonna have some bitch. He gonna have some grab khakis and a cup of milk in a plate, bitch. With his feet cocked up, bitch. Watching going to see nine dog on that bitch. <laughs> That's what the fuck he gonna be doing. I don't know about you. I don't know the Joe you know, but the Joe I know, bitch, uh, it's gonna be nap time. <laughs> okay? He gonna have a nasty old jello pudding cup, bitch. That's what the fuck Joe gonna be doing when it's time to sign the motherfucker in the law. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Girl. I don't know about the Joe you know, but the Joe I know. <laughs> Thank you, the classic chick. The Joe I know. What's up, Frank Richard? I don't know about the Joe you know. The Joe I know. Girl. girl. In the head. In the head. Girl. Girl, we need a, we need, we need something, girl. We need something. When it comes to this shit, I ain't want him. This ain't what I come alive for, girl. I come live to girl talk about my book. Y'all go check out the link in my bio, y'all. Fuck with my new book. If you don't have my old book, go get that too. And get bought too. Get bought one and part two. They're real, real good. Because, girl, and get them now. Because, baby, when we sign this deal, I hit it hard because I got another book coming out with her. The price is going up, girl. I miss you too. So get them now. Uh -huh. Hey, everything Asian. Y'all talking about joke for the game. Y'all some stimmy for games, girl. <laughs> I am no, it's official. I'm no longer a Democrat, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to be an independent and caucus with the Republicans, bitch. I want to be in the winning team. <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> Yesterday's price, okay? The price going up, girl. I'm in the building, girl. But listen, it's going to be something. Oh, don't forget this Saturday, y'all. I will be in the, in the, in the kingdom. Go get it. That's right. But this Saturday, bitch, I'm gonna be interviewing while I hear the card. So we're gonna get into it and we're gonna get her tea. We're gonna get into it, girl. That's gonna be really cute. The queen, the official queen of Sweden, I'm gonna have a fly for it tomorrow. So that's gonna be real cute. It's gonna be real cute. It's gonna be real cute. Y'all fuck with that. Y'all fuck with me up on that, y'all. Y'all come fuck with me, y'all. It's like, you know, it's like you gotta, you know, say I get it. Y'all want like the mess and all that stuff. We all love it. But girl, sometimes you gotta motherfucking support. The other stuff too, you feel me? It don't cost you nothing, girl. Come in, press like, say hi, shit like that. That's all. But yeah, hey, girl. Sleepy Joe. All right, y'all. I ain't gonna do no shit. I was gonna do. I ain't gonna do no shit now. <laughs> I'm sorry. What's up, Dark Skin Jermaine? How you doing, brother? Y'all go follow Dark Skin Jermaine too. He be having some good content on his page. I'll be fucking with his page, you know, like little quotes and stuff and little information, little tidbits and stuff like that. Very informed, brother. Period. If y'all don't already, I'll be putting y'all on stuff, y'all. I'll be putting on y'all the little best kept secrets, bitch. I'll be putting y'all on the, the best kept little secrets, girl. Y'all got to be getting into them, girl. Y'all got to get into them. All right, y'all. So listen, I'm about to go ahead and end this live. It's been real. I was looking for the lady so we can help her some type of way. 
uh, not the lady with the kids, but the lady, well, both of them had kids, but the lady that stayed in her baby daddy is Odell Beckham, stayed out the way already. We were about to talk to her again. If y'all do see her or something, uh, tell her shit, this nigga's a serious. And so, oh, that's what it is. I'm going to go ahead and end this live. I love y'all.